Hey everybody, welcome to Queering Feminism on Thursdays. I'm Des, thanks for tuning in. Um, this week's topic is gender. What our definitions of gender are, is, whatever. Um, change of scenery, I'm laying down on my bed instead of sitting up. I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I can't even sit up. Um, I just took a test this morning in Man, Resources, and Environments, a ge geography class. And I'm tired, I just want to go to sleep. I'm really sorry this is late, it's actually like... Fridays with the Desbian today because I have not been able to get my video to work and um, you know the the short amount of time I had available to do it I decided to be rude and not work so I'm remaking it and posting late but I'm posting and that's what matters right okay so let's, I just want to dive right into this gender what do I think of gender <laughs> um, I think gender is a ridiculous concept but at the same time, the question is, what would we do? What would society be without gender? So what is gender to me? Gender is basically a societal construct that says males do this, females do this. Um, it has often been mixed up and used incorrectly um, as um, and con confused with sex, which is a, the actual like anatomical um, physical, like, thing. You know, if you have a vagina, you're a female. If you have a penis, you're a male. That's sex. That's not gender. You know, oftentimes, I see that on applications for just everything, like, they put gender. And, you know, people can get themselves into a lot of trouble putting that <laughs> onto, uh, onto an application as progressive, as progressive as we, things are today. Um, you know, because if someone is, you know, a, a female that identifies as a male and you put gender and she's like, well, my gender is male, then she's, you know, so if she feels like being true to herself and her identity, then she's going to put she's male, right? So what do I think of gender? I think that gender roles suck. I think that, um, you know little girls are raised to be one way and little boys are raised to be another and it's not acceptable if you break that 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 societal norm you know it's not it's not cool um to a lot of people you know i was raised as just a little girl just a typical typical little girl um you know wore the dresses the pink i was covered in pink all the time i was taught to cross my legs when i sat down and you know not to speak unless I was spoken to, and you just to be prim and proper all the time, you know. And um, and and then my brother was taught to be tough, to be manly, and to be, you know, to not be emotional, to not be feminine, right? And and even today I struggle with my parents, with my littles, um, my my little my little brother and sisters, you know, they're they. They do the whole gender thing with them, you know, like my little one, Jose, he's not really, you know, my dad doesn't like him to play with my sisters with their dolls and stuff. And, you know, any time that he does anything that could be considered feminine, he uh, freaks out on him because he thinks he's going to be gay. For one, if he wants to be gay, good for him, you know, but for two, um, you know, just because you're expressing something that's not necessarily a masculine trait doesn't mean that you're going to be gay. <laughs> I know plenty of men who are very in touch with their feminine sides and are very straight. Very, very, very straight. So, um, you know, how does gender play in my life? You know, that example. And, you know, I'm a girl. I'm a female. I, I love being a woman. I love my feminine traits. I love my curves. I love my voice. I love that I can wear my hair really long and pretty. I love jewelry. I, I love, you know, I like to wear dresses sometimes. I probably won't wear one on here. I might someday just to like, be like, whoa, she's wearing a dress. But, you know, I like to get dressed up. But, I mean, those are feminine traits, right, that are like societally constructed. But not necessarily the way things should be. So... An interesting thing I was talking to Anna about the other day um, was this concept of what would happen if there was no gender? What would happen if 
gender didn't exist from the very beginning. Um, I think that's an interesting question for all of you to think about. You know, um, and, and another question Anna asked me was, what would happen to transgender people if there was no such thing as trans as gender? Like, um, if there was not this societal construct of masculinism and feminism, then would trans people feel like they were s the other sex? Would they feel like they were the other gender, or would they feel like they, they were the other sex? You know, these are just questions I've been thinking about, and I don't really know the answer to them. Um, I don't even know where to begin. It's a really crazy thing to think about. What would happen if we didn't have gender? How would society be? How would people dress? Um, how would people decide who they were attracted to? Would everybody just be, like, omnisexual or whatever? I think that'd be awesome if we... I mean, you know, I just... I think gender has played its part in developing... In helping for society to develop. But it's not necessarily been a good thing. Um, and it's it's gone a little too far. It, you know, as far as gender roles and stuff. And I think it's... I think it's time to change that and to move away from gender roles, you know. Um, I love people that are like genderqueer, and like androgynous and stuff like that. I love it. I think it's awesome because I think like it's so cool that they're like, yeah, society says this, but I'm going to be like this because this is how I feel. You know, I feel like I'm just as much male as I am female. I think that's awesome. Um, I love it. I think it's great. Um, I hope, you know, I hope this explanation of mine was uh, sufficient. You know, if you have any more questions, email me, make me a response video, reply to my, my video, you know, write comments, whatever. Um, again, sorry this is late. Can't wait to see you guys next week. Next week I'll be in San Francisco with my girlfriend. Um, Anna and I will be making a video, or two, or five, or ten, whatever, <laughs> um, together. Especially since next Sunday is National Coming Out Day. So look for our vi uh, my video on that. Um, check out my personal channel. I've got some new stuff posted. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.